Yo, welcome back to another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pots. And remember, if you're ever in the Miami area and you need something real good to eat, check out Sunday's Eatery. We the home of the original fried ribs, and we got Cornish hen, and we got pork chop fried or smothered. We got catfish and snapper. You need it in your life. Sunday's, located in Miami Gardens off 183rd and 27th Avenue. Now, today, we're gonna be talking about situationships. The reason why I'm gonna call it situationship because I feel like every woman should be in some type of relationship. And it really puzzles me when I hear certain women talk about how they don't want no man or they don't need a man. Baby, all this work hand in hand. All this work together. We don't need you thinking like that. We don't need you talking like that. We don't need you arguing or acting like that. I personally got a problem and, I, and I've told y'all once and I tell you again. And, and ladies, I told you once and I tell you again. If you plan on living with a woman and you call yourself a man, you need to be paying majority of them goddamn bills. You ain't got no business living with no woman if you ain't paying no bills, if you can't man up. So what, when time get hard, you think you finna pack up all your stuff and go back and live at your mama house while this girl here try to figure out what she and her kids gonna do? While she try to figure out the rest, you gonna go back and live at your mama house or go to one of your other baby mama house or one of your ex-girlfriend's house? No, you need responsibilities. You need to stop hollering you a man. Start acting like you a damn man. Pay some motherfucking bills. That's what you have to do. Pay some bills. And ladies, don't get it twisted. There's a certain type of respect that a man deserves when he's paying some bills. Yeah, certain kind of respect that a man deserves when he's paying some bills. I'm not telling you that he's your daddy. He could never be your daddy. The man can't do, the, the closest thing to a man, to your daddy, a man could be is a sugar daddy. He could never be your daddy, no. But any decent woman, any decent woman that's got a man that's doing what he's supposed to be doing never should feel like she could just jump up in the middle of the day, in the middle of the night and just go where she want to go and do what she want to do without her man who paying all her bills, take care of all her needs. Other words, don't know where she going. Why is it a problem if I'm your man with you telling me where am I, where you going? What's, a, what's the problem with it? You my woman, ain't nothing supposed to protect you? What if something go wrong? What if you get in a car accident? If you get in a car accident, I need to get, I need to arrive to the scene on time. I need to be there to protect you. What am I gonna tell the kids? What am I gonna tell your parents? I don't know where she went. I become the suspect in any type of situation where you end up missing or you get hurt or something. Ladies, stop acting like, y'all read that Steve Harvey book and it's fucked y'all up. Think like a woman and act like a woman, trust me. And that ain't no shot to Steve Harvey. But around the time that book came out, so much has changed since then. We got a lot of black women are more self-sufficient. They, they don't, what they consider themselves is not needing the man. But see, depending on the man and needing the man and wanting the man, all those are different things. But all of it goes together in one sense or another. I won't try to think about that now. Now what kind of man I don't like is you dudes who put on for social media. You designer. You culture vultures. That's what I'm gonna call you, yeah. All you culture vultures. 
You got on all the designer. You got the top of the line designer watch. You got all the new shoes that come out. You got the popular TikTok famous girlfriend. But you don't even know when your baby birthday is. If it's a way for me to get a show where I come to you green, golf court green, pool table square ass niggas, chair, getting you niggas chest and tell you about how you don't do shit for your kids, that'll be the number one shit on the motherfucking gram, on TikTok, on the net, on TV, yeah. I don't like that. You niggas act accordingly. And you women, I don't want to see the picture of your kids on the first day of school. I don't want to see a picture of your kids at the birthday party that you done spent 10000 for. Show me that report card. I'm interested in meeting that honor roll student. That, 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 that future congressman or woman. That's what I'm interested in. That's what I'm making. For y'all who don't know what I'm making right now, this is pigeon peas and rice with conk in it. Yes. Oh yes, it's gonna be good. Yeah, ladies, back to y'all ass before I forget. I need y'all to remain mom. When you have a baby, you become a mother. And when, you, when your baby get older, you become a grandmother. All those things are responsible stages in a life of a civilized person. Sound like a preacher, don't it? I could never do that because they so full of shit. Y'all keep it locked right here. I'll be right back. The bitch, I got my pots. Ha ha! You got my pots. I'm Tamara, and this is another episode of Trick Daddies. Bitch, I got my pots. Not only is this next artist a part of one of the most iconic black couples, and has been paving the way for rappers from New York since the early 90s. And speaking of New York, he was recently presented with a two-story exhibit in the Brooklyn Public Library. With that being said, here are the top five albums of Jay-Z of all time in the United States. Number five, The Blueprint 2, The Gift and The Curse. It was released on November 12th, 2002, and it went three times platinum on December 10th, 2002. And this album has hits on hits, but one song in particular is dedicated to his at the time girlfriend and now wife of over 10 years, Beyonce. O3 Bonnie and Clyde came out during the early stages of them dating and the first time they made a hit together, leaving people speculating whether they were a couple or were just doing a collab. But after this track, they were together again for Crazy in Love that ironically was Beyonce's first solo song. Then the pair started making appearances on the red carpets together the following year. And this let us know that they were official, but yet so private till this day. Can't review Blueprint 2 without talking about Excuse Me Miss, which you gotta drink Cristal to, not Crystal. Number four, volume three, Life and Times of S. Carter. It was released on December 28th, 1999, and it went three times platinum on February 14th, 2001. And this album is so 90s, early 2000s, with the production of each track and the video to the features, such as UGK, Juvenile, Beanie Siegel, and Timberland. And the breakout track, Big Pimpin', was a hit. And the video was the vibes, beauty, and fun I thought your 20s should be filled with, but now it's just full of social media and sections. These people were breaking a sweat, dancing, and having a time. Although the song is a bona fide classic now, believe it or not, Jay-Z said he received backlash from his home city, New York, at the time for making bounce music. But in the end, it all worked out because no one is complaining about it now. Not to mention the top video vixens made appearances. Honorable mention, Gloria Velez, the OG in the hip hop game. On top of that, this album featured the classic, Is That Your Chick? with Missy Elliott and Twister. This was back when you got the ruthless, disrespectful, and unapologetic Jay-Z Jigga Man. Not the apologizing Beyonce husband man we got today. And the 
the question is, was this originally Jay's main man Memphis Bleak song? Things got a little fuzzy. Jay still gives us inspirational songs back then, like anything, where he reflects on his past and present while appreciating the life experiences and the people in it. A real feel-good song and rags to riches anthem. Number three, The Black Album. It was released on November 14th, 2003, and it went four times platinum on July 12th, 2023. The Black Album is where Jay-Z tricked everybody into thinking he was retiring, which was very shocking, and it really created a moment in hip hop. Everybody was brushing their shoulders off, claiming they had 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. Still do. Which was a line he borrowed from the song 99 Problems by Ice-T and Brother Marquise of Two Live Crew. But as we saw throughout the years, he went on to release more music and albums with Kanye West, the producer at the time. The songs that had the industry on fire, according to my elders, outside of the ones already mentioned were Excuse Me Miss, Change Clothes, and Encore. It also led to some memorable samples like T.I.'s Bring Em Out, which sampled What More Can I Say, and Chastity's I'm a Hustler, which samples Dirt Off Your Shoulders, both songs by Jay-Z off of the Black Album. Number two, Watch the Throne. It was released on August 12, 2011, and it went five times platinum November 23rd, 2020. Now, this is cheating because Watch the Throne was actually a collaboration album with both Kanye West and it produced one of the most played songs that year. I'm talking about the song they performed 11 times on tour once back to back and had no complaint. No other than niggas in Paris. And as someone who has been to Paris numerous times, we are deep over there and the clubs are lit. Highly recommend. And it's just beautiful to see the mentee become the mentor and work with the person who signed him. I also have to mention Otis, another hit from the album that went platinum in my car just alone. Number one, volume two, Hard Knock Life. It was released on September 23rd, 1998, and it went six times platinum on April 7th, 2023. And the was not ready for this album. He sampled Annie the musical for the song Hard Knock Life, which was a street anthem and if you are a jay-z fan you know how he finessed his way into getting clearance for that sample the album also has the tracks money cash hoes featuring dmx night what nigga who with big jazz can i get a featuring Emil and ja Ru, and the infamous rags to riches carefree song money ain't a thing with jermaine dupree this album definitely represent an era in hip-hop and a time in life i wish i was there it's fun and remember, this list is not an opinion. It is based on album sales in the United States. Facts, courtesy of the RIAA. What artists would you like to see in the top five next week? Jump in the comments and tell us. Either way, I'm Tamara, and this is another top five on Trick Daddies. Bitch, I got my pots. I got my pots. Yo, welcome back to another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pots. And I don't want, I don't want none of y'all Christian folks to get it, get it twisted by what I said about the, the preachers, but a lot of the preachers are full of shit. You got one side molesters and the other side robbers. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all can play crazy all you motherfuckers want to. I'm just, I'm just keeping it raw. Fuck that. Now back to what we need. See, if anybody could be a, a, a you could be convicted of all type of crimes and still run for president. I wouldn't make a good president. They'll knock me off. Because I know too much as it is. They'll knock me right off. And plus, I don't believe I can get in Mar a lago I don't think it's going to work. But, back to what I was saying about you dudes who don't take care of your babies, that's some sucker ass shit, man. You know, my, me and my baby mama, me and my last child mother, having the discussion and I, I, I told her, you know, call, call Jaden and, 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 and tell him to do this and tell him to do that. She was like, that's your home, boy. She thought she was hurting my feelings. You weren't hurt my feelings, Jackie. You made me realize how close me and my son is. You made me proud to be a daddy. And I know and I know you only be joking, but ain't nothing like being close friends with your kids, man. So all you niggas going out here, buying these bitches Birkin bags, 
and lace fronts and, and going to the strip club and getting 10,000 ones and, and having a money fight with another nigga who don't take care of his kids. That's the most sucker shit. And speaking of that too, shout out to my little homegirl Kiki Palmer. She filed for full custody of her child because I heard her baby daddy been putting his hands on her. Green ass nigga, you probably ain't never beat nobody up but Kiki. Nigga, beat your green ass. All you niggas that jump on your old lady. Now, I'm not saying every now and then that you're gonna have a. I know some women that jump on niggas. Now, you gotta defend yourself. But there's a difference between that and you jumping on. That Kiki Palmer is America's sweetheart, boy. What the fuck is wrong with you? The next time that nigga touch you, Kiki, you call me. I poke that nigga in his motherfucking eye and beat the shit out of him. All you niggas looking for your mans. Go get your mans. Stop shooting up niggas' mamas and stop killing little kids. Go get your man. Leave the innocent people out of it. Go get your man. Why you want you? Why he your man? You don't know, so how the hell I'ma know? Y'all don't give a damn about life no more. Go get your man. Leave everybody else out of it. Don't do nothing to a woman that you don't want nobody doing to your mama or your daughter. It's simple as that. I guess that ain't come across too good. Cause you some cold ass niggas. You niggas don't give a fuck about your mama or your daughter. You niggas just don't give a fuck. And shout out to all my ladies, Jet Life, all the Jet Life ladies, all the ladies that live in Jet Life. Yeah, 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 they traveling, they flying. I see y'all hoes, y'all got the same shirt on, y'all got a little click, y'all got y'all little t-shirts made. Y'all going to Dubai. Going to get shit on. They say they're paying top dollars to shit on you in Dubai. I have nothing against Dubai. I, 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 really, I really wish I could find me an investor from Dubai so I could invest in some ideas that I have. But the moral of the story is everything ain't for everybody. They told me gonna turn down some, some meals. What is, how much money it was, CEO? Five mil. Burner boy. Turned down five mil in Dubai because he wasn't gonna be able to smoke. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, nigga. Five million? I guess it's some money out here in the world. Everybody talking about how hard it is. Shit, I guess I'm the only broke nigga in the game. Five mil because you want to smoke. It's a lot of shit. You can't talk loud. You can't smoke. You can't get you can't get caught kissing. You can't you you can't drink in public. You can't even hug a bitch in public. Don't let me go to the Middle East when the ladies even get in trouble if they get raped. Like if you become a rape victim, they like you like lower your standards. Man, this is a great country, man. This is a great country. Appreciate this shit. Deal with it. Live with it. Y'all stay y'all ass from over there now. Stay y'all ass from over there now. There's a lot of shit you can't do. And you better know it. You better get a, 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 a get the handbook of the shit you can't do. Cause there's a whole heap of that shit that you can't do. I ain't gonna keep telling y'all ass. And, and by the way, if you done been to Thailand, Dubai, what's some of the places they've been traveling at lately? They going to um, well, uh, 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 they going to China, they going to all different parts of Africa and Asia. But they got to knock on the door to get in that night because. They stay with their mama and their mama ain't getting no house key to their house. <laughs> Man, y'all don't sit y'all tired ass down so well. Whatever you do, keep it locked. Cause I'll be right back. The bitch, I got my pots. Oh, you got my pots.
Yeah, welcome back to another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pot. And I just want y'all to know I be joking a lot of times. So anybody who I offended about anything I said in the day show, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. That way, hey, shout out to all my Caribbean people, man, from all of my Caribbean islands. Today I have a very special guest. Her name, I'm gonna say her name right, it's gonna fuck her head up. It is Shinsia. Y'all give it up for the beautiful. And I'm talking about beautiful, you look yeah. good in real life. <laughs> no catfish, baby. Thank you, thank Damn, you. Damn, come on this side right here, baby. Oh, we you have look it. good. You, you, you're heating up the chalk, everybody's talking about you. People are trying to look like you now, because you know that, that's what they do, the women trying to look like each other. Yeah. I just got a question. Why, and you're, you're mixed with Asian, and Jamaican. Mm -hmm. How y'all do that? I uh, know, you know, Jamaicans, they love to mix it up, you know. I know one thing, y'all are meaner than a motherfucker. Why are the Jamaican women so mean? I think it's our defense mechanism. Well, we don't, in, in America, I, my, me and my friends, our motto is lay down, we got you. Uh -huh. I'm the CEO and president of the Eater Booty Game. <laughs> we, uh, we, we, we aim to please and <laughs> Another model we have, we ain't begging, we buying. Yeah. If I see something, my woman never has to ask me for nothing. Yeah. If I walk by a store and I see something sexy mm -hmm. that I like to see her in, I'm gonna get it. Yeah. So y'all, it's not us. Yeah. It's not us. Y'all, I, I, I went to Jamaica to shoot uh, Love & Hip Hop Family Reunion. Uh-huh. And I didn't know that you couldn't talk on the phone, mm -hmm. coming through custom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it, uh, Which I think makes no sense, to be honest. Cause that- I, I need to call else. my ride. Yeah, exactly. I'm here, I'm here. They need to fix that. That lady was like, get off the phone. I'm yeah. like, hold up, baby. <laughs> like, hold on, why, why tell you talk to me? <laughs> no, they, they do it with me too. They try it with me. I'm like, mm, what you say? <laughs> so what part of Jamaica are you from? Well, I was born in Mandeville. That's a parish. Mandeville? Yes, what? Manchester, Mandeville. But my people resided in St. Elizabeth. See, so now, it's like I was born in that parish. So that's a city and a country. Me, it's, me, it's a country. Meaning when, when I it's say a that, when I, I understand, but what I'm saying, I'm saying it's like, like to me, like, Georgia is the country. Yeah. Florida is like a city. City, yeah. So Mandeville and Manchester, it's a country. St. Elizabeth, country. And then, it's Paris, you say Paris? <laughs> Paris? What is that? It's like a vicinity, like a it's state. A... Like how you guys you guys have stayed here, uh -huh. we got parishes. Oh. But, but it's not the city for us though. So Mandeville and Manchester, it's a parish, but it's like way on the countryside. St. Elizabeth, same. Then I moved to Kingston, which is a city. Now, now I've never been there. I want to go to Kingston because when I went to Mo Bay, yeah. all the resorts I lived in, the food wasn't as good. It took for me to go outside into the neighborhood, mm -hmm. go to the little huts and the little shacks to mm -hmm. get real good food. I don't want no pretty Jamaican food. Nah. I've been dealing with Jamaican. Shower Posse came down in, in Miami in the 70s and 80s. Shower Posse was down here with machine guns and a lot of marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I got to go to Montego Bay and eat some pretty Jamaican Who food? Who took you there? Well, I guess I guess you could say the network. The network took well, us to that's resort. On them. You need to tell them that. Next time you go, you go to Kingston. So Montego Bay and Negril, that's like for the tourists. You know, all the nice I don't want to go there. Because I go, because over here, I don't know if you know, but over here, when it comes to street cred, I'm like some big shit. Like, mm -hmm. they, they, they fuck with me. Mm -hmm. A lot of the island people, a lot of Jamaicans and mm -hmm. Haitians and Trinidad and Guyanese and and, and, and Bahamians, they they fuck with me because they say I'm more toward I, I'm more aimed towards uh, their culture. Yeah. So I ain't they ain't had no business sending me in no goddamn Mo Bay, but I guess. But when was, you gonna go again? Hey, I, I'm ready to go. I just got my passport back. I had a little, a little problem. Then they tried to trick me and tell me it was child support. Cause one time I owed 180,000, mm. but I done paid that shit off. So <laughs> I got my child support. I got my child support fixed out. And um, the IRS allowed me to get my passport. So I'm ready to go back to Jamaica, but I want to go. I want to go to Kingston. I want to go up in the hills, in the mountains. That's where I want to go at. Elon Mountain, what Jesus. I right, when, it, when you ready, the next time, let's go. 
I'm, 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 let, listen, I'm paying for everything. You don't gotta pay for nothing. Man, we really go. I know, I know you, I know you, you hey, I know you've been doing good for yourself, man. Congratulations, too. Thank you so much. Cause something I learned, I learned today that Queen Latifah mm -hmm. never got inducted. Mm -hmm. MC Light, no Lil' Kim, mm -hmm. no Lauren Hill, but my friend, my personal friend, and my little sister, Missy Elliott was the first woman to get inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall, Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah, so. I don't know what, listen, I don't know what y'all women are trying to do. Yeah, we coming for it. Y'all taking over rap, y'all yeah. y'all taking over, uh, cause uh, what, I need some more, what you, what you pretty muscle mouth, baby oil down ass R&B niggas at? Y'all don't let these women do this to us? Where y'all <laughs> niggas at? Man, like, y'all are really, the women are really doing y'all thing. Yeah. And I appreciate y'all for that, but what I don't want y'all to do, don't forget about us. I mean, you Don't guys, forget about us. You guys have been running it, though. I think you guys should just sit back and let us do our thing, you know? We, but y'all not going to do y'all not gonna do for us what we do for y'all. What you mean? If you, if you go diamond, you ain't going to go buy your man no, no convertible Rolls Royce. If he faithful, we might. What, well, faithful? If he ain't out tricking everywhere, we might. Mm. If so, he so, stayed down before we got the diamond record, we're going to. Damn. No, that's loyalty. I think that real women these days, that's what we value over everything. Loyalty and being committed. So, okay, you know what? I'm glad you said that because I have a lot of women that that, that, that are more concerned with how they look mm -hmm. instead of how they feel. Mm -hmm. And I learned from, from women like Cardi B, I watch her a lot of uh, posts, and she said, if you go on my social media expecting me to look bad, to 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 look like I'm not having fun, to look sad, you can forget about it. Mm -hmm. When I go on here, I'm turned up. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't want to see me like that, it will ruin your day. Yeah. Unfollow me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I appreciate everything you women are doing for the culture, for music, for for everything. I just appreciate you for looking so beautiful and natural, because. Uh, I went out last night and 10 out of 15 girls which looked the light, they shaked it like the eyelash was the same, they lace thrusts was lifting up the same. <laughs> it's like they they it's like and all of them had on boutique clothes. Yeah. I and, and you got this cute little dimple. They doing their nose now, they doing their cheeks now, they doing all the shit that the white women used to do to look like us. They yeah, doing yeah, it to yeah. look like the white what the mm. fuck is going on? I mean, you know, technology and feel like, you know, people strive for perfection more these days because because they can. And I'm going to include myself in that, too, because, you know, I've been doing some shit, too. No, don't do nothing. <laughs> you but, ain't but the type, For me, like, I like to keep it close to natural, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't I, like I, be doing too much. No big BBL, big fat ass. No I'm eyelashes like, that look like you're going to do. How I'm going to yeah. trust a woman who got eyelashes that's covering her eyes and they look like she, I can just give her my wallet and she can just jump up and fly away with these big ass eyelashes and take all my money. How am I supposed to trust this woman? Uh, I mean, it's, what do you mean? That, that, you, so you're more focused on how your woman look, not how you I'm feel more, about so, her. I'm more, I'm more, I'm more. You see what we're talking about? But, but I'm focused days. on this. I'm focused on the fact that it ain't no way she think the way she look is cool. You can't be focused on how you look, but you got to care how you look. Yeah, true. Because one thing I know is that a lot of them um, surgeries and operations, they are very dangerous. And mm -hmm. anytime you having a baby, it's dangerous mm -hmm. a, yeah. a, a, alone. You know what I'm saying? Thousand percent. But then, now you're going to have procedures. And, I, and I've, I've learned that they are very, very addicted. I had a, I had a talk with um, a friend of mine, Kay Michelle, to, mm -hmm. to be honest. Mm -hmm. And she was telling me how she had complications from her surgeries and how it almost killed her. Mm -hmm. And I could have cried, not because of what she went through, I could have cried because of how far she came when she, the, and, and, and it, it, it dawned on her that none of that made her who she was. Mm -hmm. Because for one, there's a type, everybody has a type. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, what well, y'all women been feeling that lately, I'm gonna be honest, a lot of dudes been getting bad women that they don't deserve. Yeah. A lot of niggas been getting pussy that they ain't supposed to get no pussy. You think so? Yeah. Who are yeah. the men who you think not supposed to be getting? Pussy? I don't want to call their names. No. I don't want to call their names. Like the type of men. I would like 
Niggas who don't realize that if you go stay with a woman, that you supposed to pay. If I and me and you live together, right? Uh-huh. The mortgage, the car note, the light, those are my bills. Yeah, right. Trick Daddy, you got a brother. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is the uh, this is women these days are paying for everything. And, 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 this, and that's the problem right there. Uh, we y'all shouldn't have to tell a man how to treat y'all. I'm, I'm gonna give you a perfect example. I'm gonna give you, let, me, let me show you something. I'm a Libra, and I'm you know, and I'm oh, way I'm way too. older than you. But don't worry, cause I like younger women. I don't want no woman over thirty because they stuck in their ways and you can't get it out of. But I know how to make a woman smile. Look, yeah. I bought you something today. Look, gifts. Oh, wow. see, I bought you a nice a nice little uh, Thank arrangement you. today. Thank you. Hot so pink much. flowers, cause you a hot pink girl. Thank you. Oh, I love the vase too. Who told you I love roses? I I just I decided I was I was like, she, well, well, me and well, I was trying to figure out, man. See, I wanted to get some Jamaican colors. Yeah. But they was like, man, it's too this this too last minute. I love so it I, though. Thank you. So I didn't know you was gonna be three hours late. <laughs> so I, I I would I could have got it done. But <laughs> but I I just say I just say go ahead. This is what I want wow, you to do. No, thank you so much. I'm I'm a sucker for roses because I'm a liver too. So oh, yeah, when's your birthday? October 1st. Okay, see, so we if your mama could have hold her water, yeah. a couple days, you could have been born on me. You could have had the same. We could have been birthday twins. I'm September 27th. <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. I, I love October Libras. You do? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry <laughs> to hear that. I'm joking. I'm joking. Right. You just want me over with a September Libras for this gift. Thank you. I but, appreciate it. Yeah, I just want you to have that and just to let you Put know that what we do, this is what we do. See, and, guys, take notes. And I got this, I gotta make sure I give you this seasoning to take back with you. Because this seasoning go on every, I, I, like I tell the, the dude, don't put it on your girl. It go on anything but your girl. Yeah, soul anything. seasoning. Yeah, Sunday soul seasoning. Okay. That's my seasoning. Okay. And if, and if, if, if you haven't, if you ain't gotta leave town today, you make sure you go by my restaurant. Who are you or whoever you with, mm -hmm. I'ma take care of y'all. This way you gonna get the best food at that you had in a long, long time. Yeah? Yes. I'm going by there today. I leave tomorrow, so. Good, so you I'm go by there today. today I'm frying some lobsters for you. This is a Florida lobster. The mm -hmm. difference between the Florida lobster and the main lobsters are the claws. Florida lobsters don't have claws, they have tentacles. Oh yeah. Tiny. And we got the more salt and sweeter lobster meat. Mm. So the Boston lobster got the claw, but they got all that dirty water in there. Yeah. But that's a whole nother story out there. I ain't hate no Boston. Hey, my people in Boston, what's up? <laughs> And I, we, I'm from a city where you don't put sugar in grits. Mm, you I eat, love grits. Do you put sugar in it? I've never done it before. Remember, like I'm West Indian, I'm about to try doing some American food. Yes. But from like around Thanksgiving, okay. I'm afraid because you know I live here now, and people gonna be like, "That's not how you do this." Uh, I'll be uh, like, uh, Shut uh, up. I if you don't I'm find nowhere, do. to, if you don't find nowhere to go for Thanksgiving, I'm cook, I cook my whole Thanksgiving meal. A 30 part spread. I cook it myself. I don't need nobody helping me. I'm cooking a whole hog and I'm cooking a goat. Yeah. Okay. I, I cook pigeon peas and rice, collard greens, candy yams, everything you candy can imagine. Candy yams. I love those. That and um, collard greens. Collard greens. The best collard greens in town is that Sunday. I don't like a mac and cheese like that, to be honest. Oh, you're not a mac and cheese no. person. No. It's too thick you, and dry. You, uh, you there, and you, if it's too wet, then it's maybe yucky to me. I love the collard greens. I love the candy yams. Uh, the banana pudding, is that what Banana, yeah, we yeah, got I the like banana pudding. We got the banana pudding. But the collard greens do something to me. Sheesh, I love the You got, so wait, what, you, what, you, what you got? You just did a song with, was it Lola Brooke? Lola, yeah. See, I fuck with her. I love Lola. I fuck with her. And another girl I've been listening to lately was the girl, um, I don't wanna say her name wrong. Some the rap, Fendi the rapper. Oh, I haven't heard about her yet. Finny the Rapper, she got a song talking about, she got like drill music, but she's talking about the nigga got a gun and he ain't got no bullets. Is he really like- I'll have to search She got out. a song with Cardi B, when Cardi B said she's oh, something yeah, like yeah, Tip yeah, and yeah, Tiny. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, it was like a, it was a bad girl show. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, okay. that rap, so that. I didn't know her name, but I've seen her before and I've heard the song, for sure. Lola Brooks, Um, a lot of these women now, have to pay homage mm -hmm. to 
the people that raise them. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing I don't ever see women doing. No, they do the, it. The men do it. No, the no, men no. do they it, do not it. the women. They do it. The only thing is, with us, we pay the homage, but the people we pay the homage to, they turn around and hate on us. That sounds like a Miami rapper. No, it, it's, it's like a lot of. Because <laughs> I, 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 I've, 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 I've tried, I've tried to help, I've tried to help. I've seen it many times. Uh, Even with me, like I'm paying homage to people right now, and they look at me like, "Oh, who this is? Like she trying to steal my whatever, whatever." It happens, so they do pay the homage. It's just that people get threatened. I just think that the, the Trinas and Lil Kim, Foxy, and Missy's and, 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 and Queen Latifah, Mia X, and Raw Digger, and Roxanne Shantae, Salt and Pepper. I think these women, instead of these women sampling the men records and redoing them, I think they need to sample the women records mm-hmm. and redo them. Mm-hmm. I just, that's just my opinion. But like I said, the women are winning because yeah. all the men are off. As I said, All the man. niggas trying to kill each other. Y'all trying to kill each other, not the women. They're taking over, man. Stop shooting and pay attention. Hey, hey, why you sound like you're going against women? I'm Come not on, going no. against women. Who's I just don't, I listen. Let us have our shine. You get your back in I like want next you, 10 years. I want you to look, I want you to continue to look beautiful. Give us Sound a good. I even like your walk. The way you walk, like, you shouldn't be allowed to wear boots because that's cheating because you already bow-legged, so you shouldn't be allowed to wear what? boots. There's a lot of <laughs> shit that you, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm going to let y'all do that, but I just want the men tighten up. Tighten up. No, I think they're doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing right now. Chill out, you know? Give us our time to shine and just respect to all of the female OGs too because they're the ones who made this possible. They paved the way for women to be doing what they're doing right now. You know, we have a whole lane because of what they went through yeah. back in the past. They curated a lane and be forcing people to be like, accept women in the game. And that's why we as women are here now doing our thing and doing it crazy. I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a Libra. And if you know us, I love women. Mm-hmm. I love them. Mm-hmm. It, it's like, if a, a nice, clean, beautiful woman ever was homeless, ever feet was ever tired, need a place to stay, or a place to sit, as long as I got a face, she, yeah. she, 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 she's welcome. Yeah. I am that type of man. But I need the men to be men, and I need the women to be women. Keep it cute. There's no way I'm gonna let you go have more money than me in my household. I wouldn't feel like a man. Well, yeah, I get that. But what if you can do better than your woman at that point? Or what if you're with her and then she just leveled up in her job? That, that, okay, that's, okay, that's, that's what cool. What you gonna do? You gonna leave her? I, Are you gonna be I don't one of mind, the men? I don't Are mind. Are you gonna be one of the men that I don't mind. I want her to level up, but I just wanna, I can't, I am not gonna lay down. I'm not gonna become her assistant. Uh-huh. No, the no, more, sure. the, the more she level up, the more it's gonna make me step my but game you, up. You just been in competition with your lady. No, I'm not. I'm in, I'm in competition with my manhood. Mm-hmm. I need to still be able to buy my woman no, nice things. Because hearing you speak like this, and I represent for women, right? I'm a big advocate for females, uh-huh. right? Hearing you speak like this, you the type to go be like, okay, she got so much money, and then she, I ask you to be like, okay, oh, baby, can you get me something for the fridge? And you go be like, I don't work for you. No, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that type. Tell you. I'm not that type, but but I'm gonna tell you what though. I tell you what though. I'm gonna tell you what type I am like. Okay, you been buying me stuff for my one holiday, <laughs> my birthday, yeah. my half a holiday, Father's Day, with my money. Mm-hmm. All these years you've been using my money buying me shit. Mm-hmm. Now, okay, you got your money. Tighten up. Like what's up? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Y'all got Women's Month. Y'all got Mother's Day. Mm-hmm. Y'all got Valentine's Day, which Birthday. don't really belong to y'all. Something that y'all took. <laughs> y'all got Christmas. Birthday. Birthday. Y'all got every New Year's. Yeah, yeah, and any other thing you could think of. <laughs> Thanksgiving. Y'all gotta go out. <laughs> y'all going out of town. Y'all going to a party. Y'all, go, y'all, y'all got a, y'all got something that we need to. Patronize with to y'all about every on every corner. Mm-hmm. Get, wow, give me my little sucker ass tie. Can I get my tie? <laughs> Can I get now, my sucker ass tie? No, I feel like women don't really do much these days because we we're we're forced to do so much for ourselves. So by by the time it's time to please you, it's just like uh, I've been doing all the work. So don't don't be like Oprah. <laughs> 
Don't be like Oprah. What you mean by that? What billionaire don't want a man? What you? Oprah need a man. Oprah, you need a man. If you need a thug in your life, or whatever, you need somebody to just, just knock your head off anything. Oprah needs a man. Oh, don't be like Oprah. Don't be so successful that you don't have a man. Everybody had. But fun. it gets harder for women to get a man when they're successful. Not, not for me. It, you won't know because you're already a man. It's hard for women to get good men because they're successful. I'm gonna tell you this. It's hard for a woman to raise a man. See, y'all trying to find the perfect gentleman. Y'all trying to find that nigga that y'all can give. You can give him, okay, here's my instructions. This is what a real man should be. Mm -hmm. And guess what he do? Go get no, 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 he going to character. He, he fake become the man of your dreams. That, true, true. That's why I don't be telling people what I look for. No, just mind. let them do it. Let them be themselves. Yeah, yeah, true. Let them be yourself. I agree. And, and y'all, number one lie, before we go to break, your number one lie is, tell me the truth, I'm not gonna get mad. Where y'all got that from? <laughs> Where'd you get that from? Do you really want the truth? Have you ever went in your man phone? Be honest, have you ever went yes, in? Yes, I have. Why? What you mean why? Because I wanna see if you faithful to me as much as but, I'm faithful to you. But why did you go on his phone? Because I wanna know why are you hiding anything? Did you find something? Of course, a lot. Were you hurt? No, I just left it. Wasn't hurt, it's all good. It's no, you it see y'all wanna be tough. Y'all yeah. hurt, cause we hurt. I don't. Ladies, Why don't go in the man. Why are you doing anything to begin with if you're don't in a relationship? Don't go in the man phone. No, you have boundaries, but where secrecy is concerned, that should be out of don't window. Don't go in your man. You know what I think? Going in your man phone. You should give me a code. I should give you my code. I'm not hiding anything. Why would you need my code for to my phone? For emergency. For emergency. No, in emergency, I use my facial recognition <laughs> no, for emergency. No, emergency. Something might happen. Something. You don't know what Y'all have it is. to stay out of these nah. man phones. Nah, it, I'm not going to force myself and be like, oh, let me go in there, but don't like if you actually. So what if I put it there? I leave it open. I put it there. If oh, let leave, me let me answer the door. If you leave your phone open, I'm not gonna go in there because you I, obviously you have nothing. To oh, do okay, it. that's what I thought you did. I thought you figured out his code and went in his phone. I'm like, oh. Okay. No, he he was shady, and then he put in his code like a couple months, and I recited and I kept it in my head for one day. And you couldn't wait on Valentine's Day. Oh. I went in his phone and oh. I left him on Valentine's Day. Three years of relationship. I just be like, later. See, that called stalking. Y'all keep it tuned. Keep it <laughs> locked. I'm having an interesting conversation with a very interesting and beautiful woman. Y'all keep it locked right here. We'll be right back. The <laughs> bitch, I got my pots. I got my pots. Yo, this your boy Trick Daddy Dollars, and we're back with the beautiful Shen Shia. Shen Shia. I said it wrong? Shen Shia. Shen Shia. Ashensia. 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 Okay, well, Shen and I see ya. Oh. Shen we here with my girl, Sensia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we here. Hold on, hold on. We here with my girl, Shensia. There we go. Oh. Uh, you know why I know that? You know, I, I was just fucking with you. You know why I know that? Because we had a son, they used to be like, Sensia, who got the keys to my yeah, beamer? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's what I used to say. Remember, I, I used to say that because when I used, I used to say championship, mm -hmm. that ain't that, that found out that ain't a word. What? What you mean? I said championship. Oh, championship. I know. I thought it was championship all my life. Championship. Yes. I know. I know. <laughs> so listen, we're about to eat, and I know you're not used to. Ooh, oh yeah. What's that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 See, come on, see, we got something for you to eat today, see. Oh, we got something for C to eat today. I'm a I'm a for you, you know. Yes. Shinsia. Shinsia. I got pigeon peas and rice. Wow. We got some cook in here. Oh. Okay. I ain't, I ain't nothing. Listen, I'm not no joke. I ain't no joke. Smell well seasoned to one. Oh, man. Everything. Everything. You're a true island girl, so if you're a true island girl, we got something special for you, being that you're from Jamaica. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. What is T-double-D? T -D. Trick Daddy Dollar. Oh, okay. So, but you gotta tell me, what's the flavors? What's your favorite flavor? Man, I love the pineapple. Yeah, the cream soda, I haven't tasted that in a while. Ginger beer is my absolute favorite. You know, that's a must for Jamaicans, I feel. Um, grape only sometimes, cola champagne hardly. Um, cola champagne is always for, for me. 
Oh, that's number one. Like, I never that's tried nothing. Yeah, that's cola champagne. Yeah, that's cola champagne. But that's I want orange. cream soda today because I haven't tasted that in so long. This is cream. Yeah, that's the cream soda. This is this is make sure this is seasoning. I don't want you to leave that. Okay, I won't. I you can cook with that. I'll put it right beside my roses. Two gifts. Something memorable. Wow, that's dope. Cream soda. Cream soda. 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 Yeah. Well, but my, 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 my aunt, my grandma, my great aunt, my mama, them, they call it soda water. Nah. Soda. They call it soda water. No, because cream soda I'm gonna is give sweet. You, look, soda I'm going to give you the bigger, the bigger um, lobster here. Okay. I'm going to give you that. Oh, so, so you're spoiled with me, eh? I want to know you before. You trick. Before, what do you got going on? What, what's new? Who you want to work with that you haven't worked with? What, any new projects, any new TV shows, or anything that you're doing. I think you're made for TV. I think they're ready for you on movies and all that now. Mm, That's a new thing. So yeah. What do you got going on? I am interested in acting, for sure. Like, I'm a cinephile. I love going to the movies. It's one of my favorite things to do. You know, I go there to relax, just to sit in the cinema, and what I cook. I cook is very therapeutic. You're not a cook. You're not a cook, or you're not a cook? I'm a chef slash, slash cooker. She oh, got okay. a son, so she got to cook for a son. And okay. not, not only, even only that, like, I'm Caribbean. Oh, like, okay. And I, got, I have to really represent. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to see if Trick Daddy can keep up with me today. Okay. You know, big and serious. We all know this. Big now, I'm going to tell you this right now. I need you to tell all your fans, your family, all your followers, you let them know. Who made the best food that you ate in a long time? <laughs> and when you take out, when you, I want you to put that lobster in this here. Okay. I don't play. So apart from that, um, my project is coming up. You know, I'm working on my project. Uh, it's practically done, but I'm just trying to make some final touches. What you got on the project? Lola Brooke. Yeah, Oliver. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. heard. For I heard rest, that song. I heard that Dima. song. For the, yes, for the rest you have to tune in. Okay. But yeah, I'm planning to maybe I'll drop something for the rest of the year as well. I'm not sure yet. Be but dope. music is my first love. I always wanted to do it ever since I was a kid. I always wanted to do acting. I loved cooking growing up, and um, yeah, just go tune in. Make Favorite movie? A Apocalypto. Apocalypto. You know that movie? Yeah. Were they in the jungle? Yeah, my, my, my favorite movie is probably Harlem Nights. Yeah, I don't know that movie. Yeah. Favorite Jamaican movie? Um, what are you Shatas? Shatas. For sure. For sure. Shatas, and I like Sprinter too. Sprinter, I've never seen that one. Yeah, Sprinter is like really new. Favorite female Jamaican artist? Myself. There okay. you go. I've never seen anybody 10. like me. Ten. You get a ten before. for that. You get a ten for that. I've never seen anybody like me before. What about Lady Saw? Lady Saw is the. Oh no, I love Lady Saw. But you asked me and I yeah, told you the yeah, truth. Yeah, right. <laughs> that one. You asked then. me and I told you the truth. Go. Well, see, you got a whole prayer. You know, put, we blessed. Put, we blessed for having we her blessed. here. So blessed. you got to say the prayer. Put your hand on the top. Okay. You got to say the gonna prayer. You're going to say the prayer? Okay. Oh, cool. Father, thank you for this food. Thank you for blessing Trick Daddy's hands of preparing this meal for us. Bless it and sanctify it and let it give us nutrients so our body can digest. In your name I pray, amen. 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 Now I want you to try that. I want you to try that lobster dip in that little sauce. Now let me see, let me see. That's my plate right there, sir. Sure is. You know I like my lobster a little bit tough and burned still. You don't need oh. trust me. This ain't a man lobster, this is a Florida lobster. But I like this lobster because it does look really fresh. Mm. This will be the best rice you ever ate. That is, that's some good mm. rice. It is sweet. Oh my God, it's so good. Okay. Come on, let me try the sauce now. Oh, that's good. And I'm very hard to please. What? I'm very hard to please. Ain't y'all all are. <laughs> okay, let me taste the sauce. What kind of sauce is this? That's rummy lit sauce. Sniff it. Man, this rice is incredible. Mm. This is some island rice right here. Mmm. Oh, okay. Y'all gonna be a serving up. Now, what can you taste that rice? That love says fire. Let me taste the crunk. 
monkeys. Mm. But no such trick, daddy. You surprised me. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. You surprised me. They don't. Me. They don't. Sweet pepper up in here. I don't know which season you used in the water to cook the rice, but it's busting. I use Sunday seasoning. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's good. I put a little peppers in there. And the conch is cooked. Yes, the conch, the is, conch cooked. is cooked. Tender. Tender twice. Tenderized twice in the store. Yeah, it's really good. Cook it's with. really good, guys. You know me, I don't play about my food. Mm. Thank you for letting y'all watch this eat. Y'all make sure you follow on Instagram. I'm mean, sure I can taste this girl. Oh, yeah, please. Y'all follow on Twitter. TikTok, Instagram. Y'all follow her work, keep up with her. Let them know where they can follow, find you at. Find me at Chensia, S-H-E-N-S-E-E-A, on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, everywhere. If you're in Miami, you want something to eat, come to Miami Gardens, 183rd, 27th Avenue, Sunday Eatery. Make sure you get your Sunday seasoning for the holiday special sale. Until we meet again, bitch, I got my pots. Ha ha! It's so good. Damn, it's water.